Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India When we studied groups, we also studied group homomorphisms. They were functions between groups that preserved the group operation. Similar to that, there's the notion of a ring homomorphism. So suppose you have two rings, R and S. Then a ring homomorphism is a function is a function phi from R to S, which basically preserves uh, all the structures that are involved in the definition of a ring. Namely, it preserves uh, addition and multiplication. So, firstly, we assume that phi of A plus B is phi of A plus phi of B for all A, B in R and it preserves multiplication phi of a times b is equal to phi of a times phi of b for all a b in r we also make one more assumption um, so now because phi is uh, a group homomorphism it takes the additive uh, the, uh, the of the additive group r that's what axiom one says it takes a zero to zero okay but r with multiplication is not a group uh, because, for example, elements need not have inverses. And so you cannot argue that phi takes the multiplicative unit 1 to of R to the multiplicative unit uh, of S. So we need to add that as an axiom. Phi of 1R, by this I mean the unit element of R, is taken to the unit element of S. And uh, this is not automatic. Uh, for example, if you take R uh, and S to be any rings and you take phi of X to be zero for all X in R, then this will satisfy one and two, but it will not satisfy three. Okay, and uh, we can talk about isomorphism an isomorphism of rings is a bijective homomorphism. And if phi from R to S is an isomorphism, then phi inverse from S to R is also an isomorphism. Okay, let's look at some examples. Um, so we had uh, the group Z and we had the group Z mod NZ. And while studying groups, we had seen that the homomorphism which takes X to X uh, mod N, the residue class of X mod N, which I can write as X plus NZ, is a group homomorphism. But this is also a ring homomorphism. because residue classes are respected under addition and multiplication and the residue class of one goes to one. Okay, let's look at a slightly more interesting example. Take the ring of polynomials in some field X. So this is the set of all polynomials in the variable X with coefficients in the field F. And you can define a, homo a function from F of X to F by just taking the polynomial f of x to f of a for some fixed a so let's say fix a in f for some fixed a in f and this is going to be a uh, ring homomorphism and uh, similar to this oops why have i called this three this is example two and 
example 3 you can go from two variables to one variable so you can define the homomorphism from f of x y to f of x by just putting f of x y goes to f of x comma a now this a is fixed and x is still a variable so this is a polynomial in one variable this is also a ring homomorphism okay consider the ring um, you take the ring of polynomials in a variable x and then you take the ring of polynomials in another variable y whose coefficients are polynomials in x okay so an element here looks like uh, an element here looks like p0x plus p1x times y plus p2x times y squared and so on plus pnx times y to the n where p0x dot 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 up to pnx belong to fx and uh, this is an uh, this is a ring and uh, you can but then you can expand this out so you have this suppose pix is equal to ai0 plus ai1x plus ai um, let's say mi x to the power mi then you can write pix y to the i as ai0 ai0 y to the power i plus a i 1 x y to the power i plus dot 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 plus a i m i x to the m i y power i. So each of these uh, products here will become a polynomial in two variables x and y and you add it up and this is actually a polynomial in x and y. So it turns out so what this means is that you can think of a polynomial in y whose coefficients are polynomials in x as a polynomial in uh, x and y and so what we are saying is that the ring is isomorphic to polynomials in two variables f of x comma y the isomorphism is defined by just expanding out these coefficients and getting polynomials in two variables so this is an example of a ring isomorphism Okay, another example of a ring isomorphism would be, so we've seen that Z mod uh, MZ and uh, Z mod NZ, if M and N are co-prime, then this is isomorphic to Z mod MNZ uh, if M and N are co-prime. And this was the Chinese remainder theorem. But this is also a ring isomorphism just go back and check how we constructed this isomorphism and verify that it preserves in addition to the addition also the multiplication and units and a last example uh, just take uh, zx to z mod nzx polynomials with integer coefficients to polynomials whose coefficients are integers mod n so you take a0 plus a1x plus a n x to the n goes to a 0 bar plus a 1 bar x plus a n bar x to the n where a i bar is a i plus n z the the residue class of a i mod n okay so with that we have seen the definition of um, ring homomorphism the notion of ring isomorphisms and we've seen some examples.